Uh, how did we get it in? Yeah, we put it up, but I'm just a fake box. Okay. You want to do it? Stabilize the cart and I'll push it in. Okay. You, no. Move your Okay, that's good enough. Is it? Yeah. Let's bring the seat down just in case. Okay, we're about to head out to IKEA because as we have seen, this needs to go away or just be tucked away. Um, we ordered this big thing on Amazon, but we got it all the way up and realized that Amazon sent us the wrong thing. So now we are bringing it back downstairs. We're gonna deal with this and then go to Ikea. Also, I got my hair done yesterday. It's wet because I just showered, but I'll sh give you guys more of a hair update when it's dry and it's very blonde. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. If you're in LA, um, I go to Elena. She's in Santa Monica and she's really good. So if you have curly hair, check her out. But um, we gotta go. So I'll see you later. Bye. So that was awful. That was the worst experience of my just, life. I my just... adrenaline was flowing and I was so excited to go to Ikea. And now we have to have it delivered because it doesn't fit in the car. <laughs> I'm so hangry. Starving, like my head is pounding. Getting in my bathroom is pretty bad. My skin is doing a lot better. If you remember like a couple videos back, my skin was just freaking out. And yes, it is not perfect, but we have come such a long way. Honestly, I could not be happier. The scarring and stuff that I'm really trying to get rid of. <laughs> I've talked about it before. Uh, I love is Clear Stem. So far, I just put this Cell Renew Serum on my face. It's the morning, so I try to keep my skincare as simple as possible. But while I do my skincare, I'm actually gonna do my hair first. I know it takes a long time for it to dry. So I'm using this Adwoa Beauty. It looks like this. I did just get my hair dyed, so some sort of leave-in conditioner is definitely essential. My hair is insanely dry right now. Honestly, nothing has changed. If you watch any of my videos in the past, I do the same thing. The pump is broken and I'm just using the rest of it. So I put a generous amount of a leave-in conditioner so comb it out my secret for my curls is using a microfiber towel i kid you not guys if you use a microfiber towel it will just change your curls change the moisture in your hair it's incredible so if you don't have a microfiber towel definitely go and get one because they will change your curls you can thank me later my mom left today and i am a little baby every time my mom leaves i literally cry like a little girl it never gets easier now that my hair is combed out really it's just preference and like how much your hair really absorbs my hair can take a lot of product and this stuff specifically is super super heavy moisture which my hair really needs right now so i'm just gonna comb through it with my fingers just do like a little praying hands method. Other side. Good thing I don't take as much, but just a little bit. So funny, whenever someone like smells me, I know it sounds weird. I'm always like, oh my God, what perfume are you wearing? You smell so good. It's my hair. It's my hair every time. Take your microfiber towel, flip your hair over, and I don't know if you're gonna see me, but flip your hair over, scratch. I don't know why my coffee is hitting me different today, but I have been so jittery and anxious. Could be because my mom is left this morning and I just you know, I miss her. <laughs> anyway, that's all I do for my hair. And then I just put it up in a clip just to let it fluff a little bit. And then don't forget to stay with the clip down because I usually let it like really, really puff up and 
they can look a little ridiculous so i have gotten to a point where i'll like accidentally forget to take it out and i'll show up at work with like a big fluff and everyone's like whoa your hair looks nice skincare i don't know if this is correct but i always start my skincare by doing the thinnest to the thickest in product terms so like i said i just used the cell renew now i'm going to use the dr dennis grows vitamin c serum i kind of have mixed reviews it's super sticky okay and i like to just let my products sit in my face for a little bit before i add it next to them. i'm then going to go in with the bounce back serum this is from clear stem as well pretty much everything i use on my skin is from clear stem um, except that Dr. Dennis Gross vitamin C. I have used the vitamin C from Clear Stem and I love it. I just ran out. Okay, next I use the Bounce Back Serum. It's very similar to like a glaze. It's like a liquid Botox. I've never gotten Botox, but I guess this will prevent me from wrinkling. But I honestly just like it because I love having a super dewy face, especially when it's in the summer and i just want to look very natural and glowy like you can already kind of see just the glow that's on the face i personally have super dry skin so you can stop here but i am going to go in with a hydro glow moisture this moisturizer is so incredible why i love clear Sim so much is because nothing that they use is pore clogging and it's super super hydrating for your skin and it's great for honestly all different skin types and it's cleared up my acne by a lot so i'm gonna continue with it because when something works don't want it to want to not use it put it on my decollete by the way i do have a code for clear stem i will link it down below and i'll also put it on the screen right here just because i don't know off the top of my head i work in a gym so i want to make my face look put together when i go into work but i don't want to overdo it and i don't want to make it feel like i'm wearing makeup at all so i'm going to show you what i do um i also wear this like if i'm going out on the weekend during the day it's so moisturizing so hydrating i start with the tower 28 it's called sunny days and this also has sunscreen in it it's a tinted is it a tinted it's a tinted sunscreen it says but honestly you guys this stuff has been my summer favorite and i just put a little bit on my finger and i apply it with my hands all the way into my skin i've gotten so many compliments on this and it also just kind of like i said i have scarring so it just helps with that just keeping everything even while also helping your skin so we love that I use the Rare Beauty Concealer. Obviously, you don't need to use concealer. I just want to because I do have some blemishes. I'm just going to take the tiniest bit and I put it underneath my eye. These days, it's funny, I don't have too many early clients, but I still wake up at the same time every day. I just feel like it's the best way to keep a good routine rather than waking up at a different time every day. So waking up early, but I'm definitely giving myself way more time in the mornings. I've noticed a huge difference within my happiness. This has to last me all day because I'm working until seven o'clock tonight. So I'm gonna take a little bit of powder. I'm not a huge powder person, but can't be looking oily, you know what I mean? I'm just gonna put the tiniest bit underneath my eyes and in my T-zone. And if I feel that my skin does not need powder, like it's already kind of dry that day, I would skip it. But today is not that day. You can totally use a beauty blender for this, but because I'm home and I just have a little bit extra time, I have the Charlotte Tilsbury. It's a cream bronzer. Anything cream is a go-to for the summer. I always like to just like beat my face, you know what I mean? Put it on the forehead you cannot miss your forehead okay i'm gonna blend this in because i don't want to waste any more battery but hold on i'll be right back blending everything out with the beauty blender very gently but keeping the bronze and then i also put a little bit on my eyelids and a little bit on my nose as well and a little bit on my chin and jawline because love like a nice bronzy 
glow and i've really just been owning this blonde hair i've even been putting like little freckles on my <laughs> my nose which i never thought i would do but i think it's really cute i'm just always afraid that people are gonna call me out on having like freckles on my nose because now everyone knows i don't have freckles on my nose so i feel like people are gonna call me out but who cares until that happens i'm gonna keep living my freckle life next i'm gonna use this refi refi i don't know how to say it but because i'm almost out of it i would totally use my hands i just it's at this point getting like under my nail so I'm just gonna tap it with a blush. It's super pigmented. And then I'm just going to blend it to my skin. Blush is like the key to get a nice little strawberry, strawberry vibe going. I feel like you can never have too much blush. Okay, one sec. I definitely haven't mastered the freckle thing. I don't even know if you can see them, but we're just gonna go with it today. I always like to take off any sort of like excess in my eyebrows. I go in with a little eyelash curler and curl my eyelashes. The difference, it's insane. If I could have one beauty tool ever, it would be an eyelash curler. Okay, now brows, I just take a little brow gel. This one's from Anastasia. Is that how you say it? I hear people say it all the time. Have I ever said it? That was the first time. I just put it in the palm of my hand and I Go like this with a little spoolie and then okay so i brush them up like this and then when they're looking like this i just lightly take the top and i just kind of shape them where they need to be <laughs> very gently so it kind of looks like this so you brush them up and then once they're super super long i just gently swift them off to the side Obviously when I just get them done, all I need to do is brush them up, but because they're a little bit longer, then I gotta, we gotta shape them a little bit. All I do is get my eyebrows threaded. I do naturally have thicker eyebrows, but I do like to shape them as best as I can to my face. Last thing I do is just take a little bit of a lip liner. I'm using the Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilsbury, and then I just line my lips like so I like to just kind of smudge it out a little bit and then this is a freckle on my lip that's very emphasized today for some reason And I love to end everything in like a very glossy finish. So I'm gonna grab my lip gloss. The Summer Fridays lip gloss is so flipping good. I've never tried anything better. It's so good. And I literally just keep it in my purse to reapply throughout the day. And yeah, it's super glossy. Pretty much it, throw my hair out. My hairdresser told me this cool trick to get a good middle part is you bring it all back like so and then you just go like this and push it forward and it's supposed to form your perfect middle part so i'm gonna let it cool like this and chill and then i'm gonna get dressed i'm gonna send some emails I'm probably gonna make lunch and then i'm gonna head to work It's Thursday, and Thursdays are always my day that's a little bit more chill, um, or at least like chill with Equinox. When I come home, I have a lot of just everyday eats stuff to work on, if you're new, welcome. But Everyday Eats is my baked goods company. Everything's gluten-free, dairy-free, no refined sugars, all that good stuff. But with owning a business comes a lot. <laughs> and I also ran a ton of errands today. And I'm feeling just like a little bit under the weather. I don't know, I'm just like feeling a little off just within my throat. And I don't know, I'm really just trying to rest my body as much as I can. But I did stop at Air One because um, I ran out of my favorite deodorant. And Air One's the only place that I know that has it. And it's the Salt and Stone. I've been trying to get a different flavor every time. This one just smells so good. Like, wow. I also found I'm such a weak 
link i'll show you what i got <laughs> i saw this pink chocolate from evolve i really love this brand i just love that everything's made with whole foods they do use monk actually they don't use monk fruit in this one yeah and they use a tiger nut flower which is really cool for chocolate and then i also saw this blueberry hibiscus tea and i'm definitely going to be having some of this tonight because like i said feeling a little under the weather. Also, got some Amazon and coffee packages. Got a new book. This one, it was so spontaneous. I'm really into like Colleen Hoover and Taylor Jenkins Reid, Taylor Jenkins Reid, and those types of authors that make like really fun, you don't have to think too hard types of books. But recently, I've been really craving just a book that I can read that's actually going to fuel my brain and kind of just makes me think in a way a little bit differently so i've been hearing really good things about gabriella bernstein and the book that i chose from her she has a bunch so definitely go check her out is the universe has your back and i'm really excited to start this book i've heard really great things and then the book that i just finished that i love is the maybe in another life by taylor jenkins reed and this book is just so good it's just like uh, if you just need like an easy simple summer read i just i just love her i love her books and i, I think that was the quickest i've ever read a book to be completely honest then my much 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 needed i ran out of my espresso and i got different flavors usually my favorite one i actually get the coffee it's not i get the double shot espresso because i do really like it but I like the taste of it, but it's honestly good for like a Saturday when I don't need a ton of caffeine. If I do need a, a lot of caffeine, I like this. I think it's called the Storm Stormio. It's the green one, but we tried different ones. This one is the double espresso. So we gotta have a latte on a Saturday morning. Virtue Golden Caramel. I don't remember ordering this. <laughs> All right, well, interesting. Does it say how strong it is? Not a sweet coffee person. V Vivida, Vivida, this one. Not that strong either, it's like a six. This is maybe why I need multiple cups of coffee a day. Where I do one hot coffee and then I do like an ice matcha and that's like perfect. All, I think I just like got all limited edition because I thought it, I felt cool that way. So I'll give you an honest review because I haven't tried any of these. This is the El Salvador. All right, that's all I got, and I'm cooking dinner. I'm honestly not starving. It's still early. It's 5.51, so I'm just going to make an early dinner. Very quick, very simple, but it's going to taste amazing, so. Okay, so I already started to, but I used this no-soy teriyaki, and I just put it a little bit onto my rice, chicken, and broccoli. And then I'm also going to top it with a little bit of sriracha. This is the sriracha I use. It's really yummy. Some sriracha. Alright, but this is my very simple, easy dinner. It's just rice, chicken that was already meal prepped, and some broccoli that I just steamed up. It's so good, and I'm going to enjoy this while watching some TV. This is my drink of choice every night, and if I'm home for lunch, I'll also make this needs to be in a wine glass that's essential and then i just take some sparkling water then i have just this pure tart cherry juice and it's so good i switch juices all the time depending on what i'm craving just pour a little bit in stuff is so good i also love the cranberry and if i had lime even lemon i would also add it but it's so good i'm about to eat and before i eat then i'll take digest gold they're just digestive enzymes honestly i notice a huge difference with bloating um, and how my food absorbs into my body skin Oh, I'm gonna take that. I think I just like swallowed an ice cube like another. It was just, ugh. Okay. Hello, I just got back from the farmer's market. It's Saturday 
and I was filming a TikTok um, earlier and I feel like when you are filming one thing it's really hard for you to film a couple different or for a couple different platforms so I kind of neglected YouTube but I had a really great Saturday I kind of just been loving hanging out with myself I feel like I've you know been missing some quality time with myself and I've just been having a really great day um, I'm just finishing up editing right now and then I'm gonna go to Santa Monica and just go for a little run to finish out the night um, and it's so beautiful out today I've even been working outside and yeah I've been just very present and I don't know I'm just I'm happy I'm really happy I'm just happy where my life is going I'm happy with everyday eats and I'm grateful for you guys I'm grateful for so many different things and I don't know I'm just like really feeling it and I've been starting to journal again and I think that's been helping me just be so in touch with the now and not be jumping ahead on what I could be doing and comparing myself to where someone is now because I'm very content where where I am and where I'm going and the path that I'm on so I don't know that was just a random rant but I really appreciate you guys remember to check out everyday eats we work so hard baking cookies getting them into amazing different coffee shops and places and stores so stay tuned go ahead and follow everyday eats and then my personal instagram which is sabdow i'll be updating both and yeah i'm gonna bake a little bit tomorrow because i have an event on tuesday at equinox for the cookies and I'll keep you guys updated and posted but i hope you enjoyed a few days in my life and i've really been enjoying making these so i'm gonna keep it going but i appreciate you guys and i love your support and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.